as I as I said earlier, um, just want to thank the Hyundai Sun Bowl and, and all their staff for, for being so kind and nice to uh, to the Miami Hurricane football family. They they've gone way out of their way um, to make us feel welcome. Uh, this town is a, is an incredible town. My wife just said to me, it's her birthday today, and she said, man, there's no better place to be on your birthday. She said, we have to bring some of these people back with us. They're so nice. It's unbelievable. And, we, and I mean that. Um, so thank you for, for, for all, your, all your guys and all they're doing for us. Um, our situation is a little bit di different right now. Um, this game right here that we're about to, to play will be the last game, not only for our seniors, but for, for, for many of our staff, and and, uh, and, and that's hard. That's an emo it's been an emotional couple weeks for a lot of the coaches and, and uh, for some of the seniors. So every day, every day is a new day for us. And, and we, uh, yesterday was a, was a great practice. We had a lot of enthusiasm. The guys were having fun. And to me, when you when you can have fun playing this great game, you got a good chance to be successful. Because unfortunately, you do it so much, it becomes monotonous at times, and you just don't, you know. And, I, and I've and I've seen that the whole bowl preparation. I saw a lot more uh, competitiveness, guys having fun, receivers and in, 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 uh, D backs got after it yesterday. Uh, had a real competitive drill. We actually had to do one more rep in red zone just to just to. They were all tied up, so we couldn't stop there. They wanted to go again. And uh, any of you that were at practice maybe heard all the hooting and howling going on, but it was, it's, it's been exciting in practices, and um, hopefully we can carry that uh, in today. We have the practice coming up here in a little bit, and then right on into the game on Friday. Jeff, it's, uh, it's been nearly a month since uh, Coach Shannon was let go. Do you, do you think enough time has passed for the, those distractions uh, to have sort of gone away with the players, or is any of that still lingering? Or how do you feel about that? No, I don't think that... I don't think that's gone away at all. Um, uh, Coach Shannon, Coach Shannon, you know, when he, when, he, when he came and started this whole thing, he's, he became very close with a lot of our players. Obviously, as a head coach, you're in the homes of every one of those recruits, and and a lot of those a lot of those guys uh, are still having a tough time. I, I talked to quite a few of them. That's the thing with me that's different is I, I'm I'm used to just coaching the offensive line and dealing with the issues that, that those players have. And now um, I'm dealing with issues from, from all positions. And, and I like, I, I'll be honest with you, I really like what, you know, what, what that has because I'm a, I'm a person guy, I'm a people guy, and, and um, um, I like listening to, to some of the other positions and what they have to say and what their needs are and, you know. Coach, uh, for you as the, as the last month, uh, getting in the, going forward, I guess, in the future, which, has it made it more or less likely that you would apply for a head coaching job? Can you repeat the question? Um, I guess just the last uh, month, has it made it more or less likely that you would seek a head coaching job somewhere else? No, I, I think that uh, this opportunity has provided me with with maybe some, some opportunities later on. Um, this is something that I have never done before, and it was like it's it's like being on a uh, a roller coaster because it and it's and, it, and, it, and there's no stopping it. It just keeps going, it, and um, so I think that you know the last three or four four weeks for me, I've learned a lot, um, a real lot, in terms of the things you can do to prepare your team, the things that and I've done this for a long time in coaching, and I've had a lot of my own thoughts and ideas, but sometimes. You're not able to implement those those thoughts, but I've, I've tried to do some of those things now in the last couple of weeks, and, and I'm enjoying this, although it is bittersweet. Like I said on day one, you, you know, the, the man that brought me here is, is no longer here. So, And after this game, <clears throat> a lot of the coaches that are coaching in the game will not be here. So for that part of it, it's, it's been difficult. Has it, has it been encouraging or maybe a validation for some of you guys that, that are going to stay, that Coach Bolton has kept you guys? Well, I think that, you know, back in the old, when I first started coaching, there were no cell phones, there were no uh, the internet, all that stuff really wasn't, and I, I'm trying to sound like I'm an old man or anything, but that, that's true. It was, you used to have to pull up to the telephone at the gas station, roll your window down and make your calls that way. Um, 
and coaches back in those days, you know, the Nebraska staff, the Penn State staff, the, 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 even the Miami staff, the coaches were, were at those programs for 25 years. It was like that was, they coached there forever. And there was some, con, you know, con, continuity. Um, and I think that's important. I don't really care what, I really do think that's important for the players, number one. You know, when I went, first went to Michigan State to coach there, I was their fourth coach in four years. The offensive lineman looked at me like, oh, here's just another guy. I ended up staying there for seven years, but I could just see the look on their face like, oh, here's another coach. And I think players need continuity. They need consistency. And so I think Coach Golden saw that opportunity uh, to be able to keep a few of us, which, which uh, personally I'm very happy you know, that he did that. I know the other coaches are as well. Coach, if I could ask you the same question I asked Coach Kelly, a fill-in-the-blank question. What do you have to do in order for Miami to win, or what do you have to avoid in order for you guys to win? Eliminate turnovers. <clears throat> That's not been an easy thing for you guys to do this year. No, no, it's not, and, and it's really hurt us. Um, had it not been for that, I think that we, we could have been pretty you know, We're a good football team. But that's kind of taking the, the thunder out of the force. But, so we've worked on that, and we've been doing really well uh, during a bowl. And our, I guess our guys have been real competitive, and we've minimized that part of the game. Right now. So hopefully when the game starts, we can do it. Thank you. Have you told your team who's going to start a quarterback? I get asked that question about five times a day. I should, I should have started my deal with that. I meant to do that, but I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'll get there with this thing. Uh, we are not going to announce that um, today, or maybe even tomorrow. There's still a couple practices left, and when I tell you it's close, it's real close between the two players, and um, we're monitoring uh, a lot of the things we just talked about. So, and there might be, and there might be times in the game where we might play both, you know, both players based on what we're doing schematically. So, we'll, we'll announce that. We have not announced it to the team. No, we have not announced it to the media. Is it important for the team to know? Do you think, Jack, or, or, or not? No. Not really, because every day in practice, uh, if you notice, you guys are out there uh, every day. They're rotating, you know, with the ones, with the twos. It's really, there's really been no one guy playing with the ones all, all the time. So it's, it's, I think the only person sometimes that really knows is the, is the center. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did, did Mike get in, Mike James? No, Susan, he's, uh, he's stuck in a snowbank, really. I, I'm not, I'm not oh. sure that he's in New Jersey right now. He had to go uh, with family to New York and uh, talk to him last night and, uh, oh. They can't, he literally can't get a plane out. There's million. there's people, those airports were closed down, so he's trying to, we're trying to get him on anything here. But he'll, he should be here, if not today, tomorrow for sure. Jeff, you've never done this before. Have you thought about a pregame speech? Are you going to give one? Have you thought about what you might say? <clears throat> That's never been a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I don't write things. I, when I write things down, I screw it up. So I don't write anything down. Here. You know, I just let it fly. And 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 honestly, I want our players to be that way. I want them. I want them to let their hair down and just play, and just go play. I think that's where we're, Miami's at its best. You know, I'm look, I'm not looking for robots. I told them that. I want us to have fun. I want us to play hard. And let's see what happens after that. But um, I think that. Um, yeah, prior to the game, I, I will have something to say. Any yeah. expletives? Susan. <laughs> <laughs> tell you that after. We'll tell you. I'll we'll tell you exactly what I said after the game. Hey, do, do you think it's uh, uh, especially awkward for? And I'm not sure I have them all. Joe Panunzio and Mark Whipple. I don't know if there's anybody else that doesn't, that, that don't know, who don't know their status right now. Some guys know, and it's really sad. And other, some guys don't know. Is that correct, or do they know really? Um, I think everybody knows their status right now, and um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really read the newspapers, so I don't know. 
I really don't. I don't know what's been released, what's not been released, but um, I just know this. I know that there's three coaches that have been asked to stay, and um, I know this coming into this prior to being asked to come to stay at Miami. My mindset, and I told my family, and my, and my son's in the back, and I said, listen, here's our approach. Here's our game plan. Our game plan is we're going to go coach this bowl game, okay, to the best of our ability, but in, our, in the back of our head now, we are relocating. And that's kind of how you have to think about it. And I'm blessed because I have a wife that's extremely flexible, uh, independent, and uh, I have two kids that actually kind of like moving around, I and mean, they just think it's, they think it's a benefit to them that they have a chance to see new people, meet new people, and that's a great thing. You don't have to struggle through those, those times. But one more question, please. If there are any. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you Coach Jeff. Coach, thank you very much for being here. I know you have to get to practice. Media, thanks for being here. Again, there will be no one-on-ones. They have to get to practice, but I appreciate you all being here, and you know that your hospitality suite is right behind you, and they will expand it to here. So so stick around, and uh, and uh, we'll see you Friday afternoon. Coach, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.